Okay, so I'm going to show you what I do when I take care of these my froglets that I have in these raw containers. Pardon the messy room. I also grow bonsai in this room and have your own mastics and everything else. So what I do is I, I have my froglets are in these containers. I get RO water. This is the clean one that I'm going to replenish the water with. This is for rinsing. This is for waste. These are the fruit flies I'm going to feed them. And I'll show you how this works. So, I get one. Position the little cup of water over here by these. Open it up. Little yellowbacks are in here. I always keep the lid close by in case they get frisky, like they're about to. Use this to rinse. All right. If they spilled any water, I tilt this. I stick it in the bottom down here. I keep the bottom of this sucked up pretty good because I don't want it to get hypoxic or nasty. As you can see, these are pretty bold little frogs. They don't really care about much. I try to make sure I get all the poop and dead poop flies out of there. Water, rinse it a few times. I get some clean RO water. Put it back in there. Sit this down right here. There's some poop flies. Pack in some poop flies. Good amount. They go crazy. Put flies back up there. I put the lid on because the fruit flies are going to go everywhere. Another handy thing I do when I'm making, when I'm getting fruit flies out of my cultures and putting them into the feeding one, I put them in this little tub from the dollar store. That way any fruit flies that jump out of my culture when I'm trying to get in here, they don't get on my carpet and run away. They land in this and then I can take them out of this and put them in here. Fruit flies aren't running all over my house. The fruit flies are not wasted. Pretty good way to do it. So now I'll just repeat. With the next set of frogs. Suck it out. These are my Azurus, they're less bold than the green yellowbacks. They don't come out. Like the yellowbacks know it's feeding time. There's one of them there. And then Set of Brazilian yellowbacks. These guys sometimes try to escape because they're wild. See how bold they are, especially when I scare them. They're faster than you might imagine. Ooh, we almost lost that one. Get down, dude. This is a little faster than this. 
I'm not filming. Okay, they're all back. Put away, I keep them on this little shelf next to the terrariums where they're gonna go. I get this 18 by 18 by 24. It's really getting overgrown. Some of these things got much bigger than I thought they would. There's a cocoa hut under there and you can't even tell for this monstrosity, but it's a cool plant, so. Um, and I got this smaller one that I may have to put one in depending on the ratio of males and females. They'll be wary of Rex begonia if you do this. They get wild. But this is really growing in nice. And I have this one. It's growing in nicely. Some cool plants in there. Shingling plants. And some Macravia growing in right there. Some Peperomia. This familiad there's one pup here one pup there and another pup all the way in the back back there you can kind of see it this is where the frogs are gonna go but this one I put this wandering plant in and boy be careful bring this in because look what it has done this also has a Rex begonia in it but look at this stuff this was one cutting I threw in here and it has gone insane. Like, literally. It is just everywhere. And I've even cut it back several times. I'm gonna have to keep just, I mean, I don't know what to do with it, honestly. So I keep cutting it out. Move the frogs into these very soon. All right, well, thanks for watching.